Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, we're going to go over in the tools how to run a back test on the darknet signals on all the stocks that have come up on a specific list. And the specific list that we'll back test the darknet signals on will be the S&P 500. Now you can choose any of the lists that you have in Tom's tools, but we're going to do the S&P 500 for this presentation. Now to get to the darknet page, you can either hover over the home tab scroll down to darknet signals and left click or you can go right to the options analysis darknet channels icon on the contrarian trader panel let's left click on that and go to the darknet page now you'll see that we have the darknet signals darknet help and the darknet back testers it's the back testers section we're going to focus on and i'm specifically going to left click on the stocks button in the darknet back test searchers here we have the stock list or the stock symbol. You can run a back test on an individual stock or ETF or a list of stocks. And as stated, we're going to do the S&P 500. So left click on that drop down arrow, scroll through, find your S&P 500 optionable, left click on that. We're going to leave the darknet controls as they are. The trade sort method will be by percent winners. You'll leave the 1,000 in the max days for days since the last trade event and 365 days in the backtest date range of days. We'll go over here to the search button, or in this case, search could mean run, but we're going to left click on that. Let the computer do its thing. Let the software run the data for us. And when it gets done with this, we'll not only see the data on the percent winners, but we'll see all the stocks, the number of uh, trades, if you will, or the number of times that it had the B to the S signal and the success rate of those. So instead of just looking at percent winners, which you'll see when you scroll down here and look at the darknet design box, you'll see that the percent profitable per stock or the percent winners is your 74.66. So almost 75% of these darknet signals over the past 365 days on those stocks that came up in the S&P 500 index uh, showed a profitable move and you can further look through the data math expectation 528 per trade the average profit 797 the average loss 271 so not only are you getting a high winning percentage but the reward to risk is a little bit more robust than a one-to-one -one as well and in fact it's almost three to one here as you see 2.9 to one one last thing I want to show you here folks if you scroll on down to the list you can see each individual stock the number of times that they had that B to S signal or that bullish uh, uh, signal and you'll see the percent winner so you know flow serve came up once in the past 365 days it was a positive move here's Foot Locker it has four times that the uh, darknet signals came about with a uh, bullish signal for you and all four times it panned out and you can look through the rest of the columns to get more data if you will but let's show you here uh, next to the symbol, you can click on the dark, uh, and this will bring up the darknet chart view uh, from however many days back you have it till present. So at least here you see a B to the S, a B to the S. There's two times in this date range where the darknet signal bullish uh, uh, alert came or the bullish signal populated and you see a profitable move off of that. So left click on that chart and get rid of it. And you can do the same with the dark link on any of these stocks. So that's how to run a back tester folks. So if you wanna see the validity of the dark net scan itself on the stocks over a specific list, over a specific date range, that's how you get that done. So continue to find faith in the dark net signals and continue to look for future videos for us but that completes the Darknet Backtest Searcher video presentation for now. See you on future video, folks. Bye for now.